Good morning, St. Mary's. I'm Jaden. And I'm Leo. As we enter the 12th and final week of the fall term, the end is in sight, Panthers. With just three days left before finals begin, it's time to check your personal forecast for the week. Is it looking sunny and bright, or do you see a storm brewing? The choices you make today can shift the weather in your favor. Stay focused, and you might just turn those clouds into clear skies as we sprint towards the finish line. Let's make this week one for the record books. Finish strong, Panthers. And let's not forget that today is an R4 schedule, which means you'll go to fourth period after break. And now let's head over to Colin and Jack with your weather. Good morning. St. Mary's. That's Jack. I'm Colin. Today it's 51 degrees low right now. And it'll get up to 58. Keep your jackets on. And stay warm. Now back to Jaden Leo. And in Student Life News, we have a jam-packed Studio B schedule to say. So let's start right away with our Wellness Week update from our Ambassador, Joaquin. Hey Panthers, it's Joaquin from the Wellness Team. Today's tip for success is being proactive. You can be proactive by removing distractions and talking to your teachers. It's important to take breaks but avoid distractions. Practice studying for 20 to 15 minutes, uh, portions of time. Also, don't be afraid to ask for help. Teachers are available during A block and study periods. The first step is just to reach out. And in Wellness Week activity news, join us at the beginning of lunch by the cross to write letters of gratitude to the teachers, administrators, and friends who have had an impact on you this term and who you would like to thank. Now back to Jaden and Leo. Thanks, Joaquin. And the Shea Cafe will be open next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for breakfast and lunch. And the library is open every day this week with extended hours. If you need a place to study, it's open, from, until, open until 6 p.m. every night through Thursday and throughout the last day of finals until 3 p.m. Students, please note that, all access, that access to all T1 grades in Power School will be turned off tomorrow night and remained offline until the post of final grades on Friday, December 6th. And hey, you seniors, there's a different type of get-together just for you. We have a couple of senior class leaders with more over in Studio B. Hey, hey, seniors, Wednesday's the day. It's our Friendsgiving brunch in the Shea. Join us from 10 to 12 p.m. to grab some finals fuel. See you there to celebrate community and take a break from finals preparations. If your family is bringing a dish, drinks, or utensils, please direct them to drop it off in Ms. Pilar's office in the morning or bring them to the Shea. See you there. And we wrap up Black Catholic History Month with this final spotlight on Sister Thea Bowman. Hi, it's Dylan from the ministry team, and today for Black Catholic History Month, I'll be spotlighting St. Thea Bowman. Thea Bowman was born in 1937 in a rural area in Mississippi. She was considered Protestant alongside her whole family until she was the age of nine, when she asked her parents if she could be Catholic. Growing up, she became the only Catholic African-American woman amongst the community of sisters she was a part of. At just 15 years old, she moved north to attend university and get a degree. She dedicated her life to civil rights, working to empower the black community while educating others about African Americans' history and experience. In the 1950s, she became one of the first African Americans to teach at a Catholic elementary school. Her work focused on breaking down racial and cultural barriers. She played a pivotal role in creating an African American Catholic book about songs and hymnal music, despite battling cancer at the time. After decades of hard work and dedication, she continued to inspire many through her lectures and media appearances, later passing away in 1990. Thea Bowman was canonized in 2018, and her teachings are still influencing Catholics around the world to this day. Thank you, and now back to announcements. With just one day remaining in our food drive, we head back over to Studio B with this update from the Service Club. Hi Panthers, we are here to remind you that tomorrow is the last day to drop off shelf-stable, jarred, canned, or boxed goods in the red bins for our Thanksgiving food drive. The food will go to the Oakland Diocese, Cathedral of Christ the Light Feed the Hungry program, and will be distributed next Wednesday, the 27th, at their weekly hot meal. If you are interested in attending, please contact Ms. Miller. Thank you for everyone who's already donated. Everyone's generosity is appreciated. Now back to Jaden and Leo. And now here's Kai with your Panther Athletics. Attention all winter sport athletes. There is a mandatory meeting at lunch today in the gym with Mr. Sanchez. Everyone must attend. We only have one event today, and that's North Coast Sections Singles Tennis representing St. Mary's is none other than sophomore Paula Devine, who is already up in Napa and probably on the court right now. 
That's it for sports, and now back to Jaden and Leo for today's birthdays. Thanks, Kai. It's unusual for us to have six birthdays on a single day, but that's what we have for you on this Monday morning. So, a very happy birthday today to Muriel Fitzgerald, Sophie McAllister, Mayari Negron Gonzalez, Julian Richardson, Mark Rios Lopez, and Brennan White. Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. We wish you happy birthday so we can party too. Hooray! And on the final Monday of the fall term, here's what's over. Or here's what's on today's menu over in the Shea Cafe. Today's gratitude prompt from the wellness team is, what is your favorite memory from this term and why? What's your guys' favorite memory? Me? Oh. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> I guess my favorite memory was <laughs> senior sunrise, even though I did claim that it was kind of underwhelming, which I do stand by, but it was still a fun event. What about you? Um, my favorite memory, last week in English, we had a potluck, and that was really oh, yeah, fun. Yeah. So. Well, That's it for today. Have, have a great day, day St. Mary's. Mary's.